Oh my gosh. Yo, this guy just gave me free exclusives? <laughs> Yo, thank you. Thank you so much, Kimono. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he just gave me a bunch of exclusives right now. But welcome back. It's your boy T Pro, and welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to be scoping out fake huge pets, guys. And yes, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can get uh you know you guys can avoid a huge pet like hacks and stuff like that because people have been getting scammed for huge pets before guys but let's go ahead and go to the trading plaza smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys have it and don't forget to click that post notification bell now let's get started with the video all right i am in here in the lobby right now guys and we're gonna try to see if we got some fake huge pets out here i'm sure there's at least a couple in here and i'm gonna show you guys how you guys can spot them out i have all my pets out right now and you guys can see the reason why i do is so people can trade me right now so one of the first thing you guys can actually tell if a if a fake or is in the game is you guys can see like this cat right here i'm not sure if he's moving slow but whenever they have a pet that they just popped out of nowhere and it's moving like really really slow guys most likely they just spawned that pet in like they're not a legitimate pet and they just duplicated another pet but you guys can see sometimes uh they are just hatched out of nowhere like if they hatch a code in the game uh they could just be brand new like this guy it looks like his pet is getting a little faster now just because he just got it but i'm not sure if that's a real or not but here we go another way you can actually tell is by trading with people and look at this he's gonna trade this hmm what could he actually trade this with that's not actually a huge pet i don't think uh that's a okay there we go a huge hat cat he threw that one up there if you guys didn't know this huge hat cat right here is actually going up in value a lot and that's because it's out of the game so i think that is going to be a fake because not everybody is trading that right now if anything people want it another way you guys can tell if someone has a dupe pet or not is if they only have one pet sometimes they don't have a whole a whole class like i do or a whole group like i do but sometimes they just have one single pet with them like this guy with the cat he's probably trying to like trade somebody and try to swap out a dupe pet for his pet sometimes they only have one pet with them they don't have multiple pets like i do and some of them can be like this right here the golden agony people will not trade that but if they try to trade it with you most of the time it is fake i think the most common fake pet in the game has to be the easter cat if you guys have ever encountered with an easter cat in uh, pet simulator x they might be fake just because there's only 36 of them in the world and i don't see any and i don't see a lot of them but every time i do encounter with them and they're willing to trade their easter cat it is definitely most likely fake guys because if i had an easter cat i would definitely not trade it for anything unless it's another super super rare uh pet just like the super cat what is with everybody having these gift trades? Look at this. I've been buying a lot of codes lately, guys. And it looks like these are going to be going down in value in the future. Just because everybody's literally trying to trade this with me. Like, I don't want it. <laughs> I honestly don't want it. Um, You know, I could offer him a, a huge capybara. A cyborg capybara for something. Uh, okay, he wants to offer that. Should I risk it? I don't know. Hmm, I might just risk it, guys, because that's actually a great trade. Oh, man. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to skip out on that. What about if I give you a huge Hell Rocks? What if I give you two huge Hell Rocks for that? Would he actually do it? Two huge... Oh, he didn't do it. Bruh. <laughs> no way. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. One of the most common pets that are duped in this game too, guys, has to be this Corgi right over here. I don't know why, but every single Corgi I've gotten, I've literally lost like two to three of them just because they were duped pets. And also a Wicked Wyvern too is the most common pet to be duped. But let's see here. Let's see what this guy got. A Cheerful Yeti. I don't know about these pets being duped as well, guys. I'm not really experienced of seeing a uh you know epic pet or a uh, dlc pet being duped but they do have a chance of being duped guys like this guy is literally trying to trade his cheerful yeti what if we lowball him right now if he does accept it that might be fake <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you that might be fake if he accepts it because i do have a cheerful yeti already 
a, uh, re a golden one, but I don't have the regular one. I could actually probably try to trade this. If he actually accepts his trade, this might be fake because I'm just lowballing the heck out of him. Oh, he threw in a huge pixel cat. Hold up. Why did he throw that in? Oh, look. This is another tactic right here, guys. You guys have to watch out for every single time they put a, a good pet up there and then they put something else. What they'll do is they'll probably try to take this out and then leave this one in. And he added another pet. So most likely he's going to take out both huge pets and will be left with a small pet. So you guys have to be watching out for those tactics. I'll show you guys an example right now, which I don't want to be called a scammer, but I just want to try it out for a second. The way that they'll do a scam guys is if they'll add a uh, cool huge pet just like this one right here and then they started adding like small pets just like these exclusive pets right over here and they just keep adding it and adding it and they won't see anything from the top and I'm just gonna go back up here and like take off the huge real quick and then they'll click ready that's how an, a scam is usually is usually uh, that's how people will get you and I don't want to do that to anyone because it is such a bad scam and also guys I just want to talk about the giveaway that's coming out pretty soon guys I do have a couple of new plushies coming in so if you guys want a chance to win a giveaway guys be sure you guys are subscribed click that post notification bell and also like this video and put your username in the comments guys i'm gonna be having some corgis and a huge duckies coming in so hopefully i can show you guys in a video that'll be really really exciting once they come in and i am going to be giving a lot of them away and also guys be sure to tell your friends and your classmates if you guys are in new in school and tell them about my channel i would really really appreciate that i left that server because i felt bad doing that for somebody i don't want anyone to be falling for that scam guys and it happens a lot so don't fall for that literally that is a lot of like ways to avoid dupe pets guys and also scam pets be sure that the pet is real by just looking at their names as well guys sometimes if they don't have names like these and uh, I heard the fact that you can't change a name of a dupe pet too which is actually really really interesting I'm not sure if that's a real theory or not maybe if I find somebody with a dupe pet I can ask them but they said that you cannot change the name on it so if they don't have names on it or they're just like a bunch of like hashtags maybe that is a bad indicator that it might be a dupe pet and also guys if they have like 20 forest wyverns and 20 sapphire phoenix and maybe even 20 huge dragons most of the time they might be <laughs> dupe pets but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more and i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out